we have uh, three more buttons to talk about on here. Um, number one is uh, this one right here, word art, same letter heights. And really, it like it said, it's just going to make, if you look at that, I pressed it, it just makes everything the same height. Okay, so all the lowercase letters just reach up and they become the same height as the uppercase letters. So there you go. Um, then of course, you've got wrap the dog with the lines behind it. Now like we talked about with clip art, uh, you cannot move this on your page. I'm trying to move it. I cannot move it. I'm, I moved it a little bit, but that is it. I cannot move it unless I get um, text wrap on there. So I'm going to put a text wrap, click on the dog with the lines. There we go. Do a tight and now I can move it around wherever I want. Oh, sorry. Double clicked on it on accident. There we go. So I can now move it all over the place and life is good. And of course the green dot will let you swivel it if I get it right. There we go. And I can swivel a little bit. Okay. And the last thing, last thing I want to show you, um, is this the uh, the format word art okay and actually I have, I have two things to show you I'm, I apologize I'm going to actually go to this if I go to word art vertical text if I click on that it will actually make it go up and down okay so word art vertical text goes up and down okay the last thing this is just kind of cool uh, format word art just like it looks like the paint bucket being poured out on a brush just like format clip art Okay, uh, or format picture, and now I can actually change how it looks. Here's my colors and lines, and it says fill, and I can change the. Color. I can make it like a green. All right, good. Okay, or I could make it kind of like a uh, what's called a gradient. If I go to and choose fill effects, I'll choose a color, and I can do two colors, and one will be green, and we'll say one will be uh, yellow, and I'll click OK, and actually I could choose uh, how this looks, I could go from, from center, which is kind of cool, click OK, uh, click OK again, alright, so now you can see it's kind of got this little green that fades into yellow, it's a very cool effect. Um, I'll, however, there's one cooler, I think, and that is, again, go back to fill effects. And you could choose, uh, if you go to texture, you could choose kind of like a texture to fill in there. I'll tell you, this isn't the one I was going to show you, but um, I guess I'll show you. And just a pattern, you can choose a pattern. Okay, but I'll, let's, I'll just choose a pattern. Choose that, those little bubbles. Click OK. And I click OK again. Bubbles. All right, there you go. And but the other one again, paint bucket on the brush. Colors and lines. Go to fill uh, fill effects. Go to picture. And this is awesome. Go to select picture. You have to choose a picture. So I will go to see if I can't find something with a picture in it. There we are. My pictures will choose the hinky picture where I worked when I was, or I didn't work, I, that's from my hometown. And there's hinky dinky. I will double click on hinky dinky. Alright, that's the picture I want. I choose OK. And I click OK again. And now that picture is in the background. Okay, so you could like put somebody's name and then put their picture in the word art. So it's a, it's a very cool thing. All right. Um, so those are the things that I wanted to show you. Again, this, this word art toolbar, there's your picture toolbar, but uh, because of the picture that's inside there. But the word art toolbar, again, uh, insert word art, edit text. If you click on that, it will just allow you to um, change your text. We've got word art gallery, format word art. Uh, and again, that's the paint bucket with the 
I'll be paint, uh, poured out on the paintbrush. It gives you a lot of options with that. Um, word art shape. Again, you can change the shape. Text wrap. Okay, of course, you cannot move something on a blank piece of paper unless you put text wrap. Um, make the letters same height. Okay. Um, word art vertical text goes up and down. And finally, spread out or tighten up your word art. Okay? And since it's uh, a picture in there, I'm going to go with very tight. So you can really see the picture. Okay. There we go. So right now, I want you to please read this. You're going to pause it and then just kind of do this. It'll only take you a little bit. So pause it right here and then you can read the instructions on what to do. So get into Microsoft Word and do this. Okay? Just to practice. Apologize, just a second here. If you didn't get that, there it is again. You can pause it right on this and work with that. Okay, your number one priority today, work on lesson 3.8. Okay, and I'm going to talk about that in just a second. If you have not finished lesson 3.6 or 3.7, do that first. Okay. When you are done, you can catch up on missing work in this class, or your substitute will tell you what else you can do. Okay. Now, uh, lesson 3.8, we saved that yesterday, so it's in your H drive. Okay. If it is not there, I have it in the uh, eighth grade folder, in a folder that says lesson 3.8. Okay, so um, you don't have to go into the Word and Word S3 and figure all that out. So don't worry about that. Okay, lesson 3.8. They have one thing they want you to work on. Okay, that I have not taught you. Okay, it's uh, step number 11. It says apply the heading one style to the following headings: White Sands Charters, Air Adventures, Deep Sea Submarines, etc. Okay, what you do for that is you come up here, and here is the heading one. Okay, so that is step number 11 on lesson 3.8. This is what they want you to do, heading one. I've not talked to you about that, but that will get you past that part. All right, since you've been such a great audience, uh, I do hope you will enjoy uh, this. There you go, work on lesson 3.8. Um, again, there you go. If you're not finished that, make sure you do lesson 3.6 or 3.7 first. And when you're done, number one thing, catch up on missing work in this class, and then, or your substitute has what else to do. Um, remember, step number 11 um, on 3.8, showed you how to do that. Come up here, 
and it's heading one. Okay. Um, we will. Uh, I'll have you print it when I return. Okay. Um, tomorrow you'll work on lesson 3.9, so don't get ahead because you'll also have a video tomorrow, so don't uh, get ahead on that. Um, make sure you know how to do it first, and then I will see you on uh, on Monday. So have a great day.